Hi, I'm Keith Bledsoe, and I'm the owner here at Smoky Mountain Traders. You can find our full inventory at SmokyMountainTraders.com, along with a complete description and detailed pictures on every car. Today, we're going to be looking at this beautiful 1957 Bel Air, personally one of my favorites. I'm going to take you through some of the highlights, and if you have any questions, give us a call. I absolutely love the color combo on this 57. It's done in two-tone highland green that's accented by the surf green top. Down the sides are straight as an arrow. Both doors, hood, and trunk have excellent fit. All the body gaps are even and symmetrical. The chrome and stainless on the Bel Air are top notch. What chrome wasn't replaced has been cleaned and polished to a like new finish. Looking at the glass, it's had all new seals around the front windshield and the side glass is smoked, which really goes good with this color combo. The stainless around all the glass looks great with an awesome fit. The side stainless on this Chevy has been replaced and it has a near perfect alignment down the doors and fenders. Looking at the bumpers, you'll notice they have also been replaced. I told you how much I love the color combo, but the finish is what sold me. Down the side, you'll see the mirror finish that's slick as a ribbon. I just don't get many opportunities to buy cars that are as slick, and I knew I had to have it. As we move down the sides, you can see the stance is killer. It's sitting on a set of built specialty wheels with no tires. Up front it has 18s, and those are 20s tucked under the quarters. On the inside, it's as equally unique and provides a perfect accent to the exterior. It's done in two-tone green and black color combo with the factory style bench seats. Looking at the dash, the column, and the round the gauges are done in surf green. The speedo and gas gauge are working. The stainless dash trim appears to have been replaced and the bezels are in good condition. As for the headliner, it's done in white and all the stainless around it has been replaced too. The door panels are also new and done in the green and black color scheme. Looking at the seat covers, they look excellent and they were replaced both in the front and rear. Inside the jams are all rock solid. When the resto was done, they installed new carpet and door sill plates. And looking in the back, the rear door panels have also been replaced. As we look under the hood of this 57, you'll see everything has been detailed. The engine's a 350 crate that is dressed with aluminum intake and valve covers. This Bel Air comes with vintage AC and heat. It's also been upgraded with power steering as well as power disc brakes with drilled and slotted rotors on all four corners. Now under this Chevrolet is one of the nicest I've seen. It was pulled off the frame when it was restored and the floors were detailed in red oxide primer. The frame was cleaned and painted black and all new body bushings were installed. Looking at the front end, you'll see everything has been detailed nicely. The 350 engine is mated to a 350 turbo trans and a stock style rear end. For the exhaust, the manifolds run through the quiet flow mufflers and dual pipes. Out back, the gas tank has been replaced along with all the fuel lines. This Bel Air is rock solid underneath and looks amazing. Now let's get it down and take a look at it on the road. 